Hi, Nicholas. How are you? I'm very fine, thank you. Great. First you... year as an exhibitor. I know. I've bumped into you a few times over the past few years. Yeah. And yeah, so congratulations on your first time with your own booth at Superbooth. Thank you. Yeah, it was time to, to present everything to, to the, the people. <laughs> Fantastic. So uh, this is Le Cowan Instruments. Yes. And um, so what are we showing off today? Today we'll see the Mandala, which is our new latest module. It went out on, um, well, one month ago. Okay. So it's an eight track Euclidean sequencer with um, trigger uh, outputs. Uh, CV outputs, uh, CV modulation inputs. So basically you have your track selectors here. So here I'm going to work on the track one, which is um, uh, linked to the kick drum. So... Should we turn the kick drum up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, brilliant. So by default, uh, the behavior is Euclidean. We can add steps, remove steps. Uh, we can also lock on or manually add a step. So the step is shown with a different color, which means it's locked. So if I lock everything like this, I can add some steps and remove, and it, um, it keeps all the locked steps. Oh, nice. So it's quite performative. Yeah, it, it's live oriented. So um, we have also four quick save slots. Um, so if uh, I have a, a nice pattern that pleases me on uh, on all the tracks, I can shift quick save. It's oh. saved, and I can recall it. Nothing Thanks. on this. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> and are they recalled? Are they quantized to recall at, at any point? Quantize them so, so that they they will always be in time when you recall them. Yeah. Yeah. It keeps the, the main tempo. Brilliant. Each track uh, can have a configurable length individual, so you can play with polyrhythms. Uh, for example, if I uh, go to track 2 and click the length button, I have here by default 16 steps, but I can add any number of steps until 128. Oh. <laughs> so in this case, I have the page number displayed in the center circle. Mm -hmm. Um, so if I, if I go back here, we can see that the page number um, shows the, the, the current page of 16. Yeah. can also shuffle. So I, I'll go back for, to 16 just for, for the ease. Yeah. And um, yeah, I can uh, randomize uh, my triggers. Yeah. And uh, it can also do CV randomization because um, we have also CV outputs here. Yeah, so, so each track uh, can uh, sense um, triggers and CV potentially. So what would the CV do? The is, CV, it a, is it a pitch value that it sends out? It can be used from minus five to plus five volts. Okay. So there is a quantizer in each track. If I go to, uh, let's say, the, the five, to the options here, we, we have a scale menu, so Let's see if I can get yeah. in there. Okay. I can select a scale if I wish, so it will quantize on a, a specific scale. Yep. Um, by default, it's disabled, so the signal will be just continuous. Okay. I can also glide uh, between CV steps to make LFOs, like the one we can see here. Uh, it comes from, from the, the other rack. from the other rack, so you can glide. Uh, linearly or exponentially between um, voltage uh, values. Very interesting. So are the, is the CV, is that connected to the gate outputs as well in, in any way? Uh, sorry? Is the CV output, is yeah. that connected to the gate output in any way or uh, are they just independent? Actually, the, um, when the, the sequencer encoun encounters a step, it will always send a trigger uh, and if the step is configured to uh, send CV, then yeah. it will output the CV. Okay, right. And the, the, the trigger outputs can also be configured to toggle um, a gate. Mm -hmm. So each step will just send plus five or zero uh, when, uh, when the sequencer uh, meets one step. 
So it's very quite interesting. Versatile. So yeah. we've got MIDI in and out as well? Yes, for synchronization and uh, melodic and uh, rhythmic output. So it can be configured as a master of slave, uh, either in MIDI or uh, with regular uh, clock input and reset and in, uh, in CV mode. And these are mutes? Exactly, yes. Oh, great. Oh, that's so, great. It so is this very is really live-oriented, yeah. You yeah. can um, mute your, uh, your drums as you, as you want. There is also um, a rush function. I call it like this to, to make, um, uh, let's say, uh, pre-drops. For example, if I go back to my snare, here I have something relatively mm -hmm. simple. And if I press rush and turn the encoder, it will double each time. And well, when I release the button, it just uh, it goes back to the, the previous configuration. Is there any kind of ratcheting or anything like that available? Sorry? Is there any ratcheting? Uh, it's planned. It's planned it in was future. buggy, yeah, okay. <laughs> so I disabled it for this time. <laughs> okay. Fine, so this is available uh, to go now. Yeah. Uh, how much is it? Uh, what's the price, please? It's uh, 400 euros. And uh, until end of July, we have 15% um, discount with the, the code uh, SUPERBOOST25. Fantastic. And just very, very briefly while we're here, because uh, we've got the uh, Marie's or Mary's LFO. Mary's LFO, um, yeah. Which uh, I was very interested in because it allows you to actually draw in yes. your own LFO shapes and the envelope shapes and things That's like it, that. Yeah. It's very it's based on the busier curves. Yeah. So basically we have uh, control points on the curve. I can move to a point with this encoder and once I am on a point, I can simply deform the curve, rotate, uh, let's say, rotate the, um, the curve like you, like you would do in a, a vector drawing yeah. software. And it's four, four channels. Four channels, yeah. yeah. Excellent. And that's available now as well? Also, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, again, well done on being here on your Thank first you very boot. Much. You should be very proud of this. This looks really cool. A lot I of am. fun. <laughs> it's so. a special day for me today. Yeah. <laughs> today. Great. Well, um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the weekend. Hope you get some really good feedback on this. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. <laughs>